Hi, my name is Agnieszka Rowska, and today I would like to talk about the healing process in semi permanent makeup. At the beginning of your career, this uh, process can be very stressful for both you and the client. We need to inform the client and make them aware step by step of everything involved. By keeping our clients informed, it will also give them more confidence. Immediately after the procedure, the client will have dark, thick or swollen areas and it's much better if they understand why this is so they don't feel concerned. And it is our job as a semi permanent makeup technician to help them understand. Think of it like teamwork between you and the client. There are three stages to the healing process, but to understand them better, we first need to discuss the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is there to help um, the body to get rid of toxin, waste, or other unwanted materials. It helps in the different difference in, of the immune system. Now, why is that important to understand lymphatic system? Well, it's important because the pigment that we inject underneath the skin is an unknown substance and does not belong in our body. There is a risk that the lymphatic system can get rid of it and remove the pigment. So we need to try and fool lymphatic system into thinking the pigment is the part of the body. So how to do it? It's simple. We need to work slowly and try not uh, to irritate any part of the skin. Always operate the machine using the correct settings and in particularly be mindful of the speed of the machine. Always use proper techniques during the treatment. Make sure to apply the correct pressure and never going too deep into the skin. Even I had the situation at the beginning of my career doing powder brows. I put so much effort and did so many passes that uh, it irritated the skin. And when the client came back, there was nothing left. Why? Because I caused too much trauma to the skin and the lymphatic system thought something was wrong and got rid of it. I didn't know what to say to the client. So rule number work, one, work slowly and gently. And by using less pigment underneath the skin, we can achieve better results. And work with the one point needle, even if it takes longer. So that's the lymphatic system. Now let's talk about the healing process of the skin. The healing process begins once the needle breaks the skin. Let me show you. I draw here three phases of the healing process. First phase, uh, as you see, the skin in the epidermis is open. And even that we were working in the right depth in the dermis, we, working layer by layer, we getting excess of the pigment. So the pigment really is on the top of the skin and go down to the dermis. So second phase, it's take around two weeks um, to go to that stage. As you see in epidermis, everything is clear. So we have the, our pigment in dermis, there where should be. And this is the moment when it's still um, investigated and uh, surrounding by the lymphatic system cells. And then phase three, which is um, 
taking approximately 40 days to get to that um, phase you can see that the pigment is already the near um, the top layer layer of the epidermis where should be now to sum up the fourth stage of the healing process will remove the excess pigment which sits at the epidermis layer of the skin once this happens after about two weeks uh, we can see that there is still some pigment under the skin in dermis layer Sometimes the client will uh, call to you at this stage and say that their tattoo has faded uh, bosh. You can reassure them that it's a part of the process. This pigment is now safe and won't be removed because it is at the correct depth. And the lymphatic system doesn't see it as a threat. This is also why it is important to always work at the correct depth. And the final stage of the healing process happens roughly 40 days after the pr procedure. And the pigment which stayed gets pushed closer to the surface uh, of the skin. It is at this final stage that we can uh, judge the color. And it is why we can only book the top-up appointment after six weeks. A very important part of this whole process is the aftercare. And it is important that you explain this to your clients. Every half an hour for the first two hours after the treatment, your client must dab the treatment area with the damp cotton ball. After that, they need to continue dabbing every hour for the rest of the day. This removes um, any liquids that might build up and helps to keep the skin calm and prevents scabbing uh, from forming. This way only the excess pigment is removed. Make sure to keep the um, treatment area dry for the first two weeks so no creams gels vaseline or cosmetics if the clients ask why the eyebrows are so thick remember to tell them that it's simply part of the healing process and the area is swollen and only appears darker and thicker and will go down after a few days the brows will get thinner and softer and as the pigment gets taken out, it will get lighter. Having this information uh, will keep your client happy and will prevent them worrying about the treatment.